All right, guys, well, it's the Jeff end. Jeff Simon, Jay's vlogging. Fucking hell, trying to do some work here. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> ah. Uh, good morning all, how's it going? Um, well, shall I say, good morning from Ella Park. Yeah, so we're here for the first race weekend here at Ella Park. It's been a long wait. Obviously we had a few test days here earlier in the year. Um, but now we're here for the proper thing here for the race weekend. Um, as you can see, like everything's ready, set to go. Still waiting for everyone else to turn up. Chris, Sean and Jack, but hopefully they'll be here soon. Um, so yeah, it's Friday morning and um, we're now going to go do um, a track walk with Rob, the owner of Fab Racing, because um, obviously they haven't been here in over 10 years, so we're just going to go do a track walk. Um, see like, just see if there's anything they want to change to the track, like safety wise, moving barriers out of the way, things like that. Um, but apart from that, yeah, well good weather, it's a, a little bit breezy, no rain at the moment, but it is forecast to rain. Um, I was expecting a wet practice day today anyway, so yeah, that's about it really. Um, I'll speak to you guys soon um, after we've done a bit of track action. Alright guys, well we've uh, done probably about four sets of sessions so far. Um, it's gone alright. Um, I've knocked off some good time from my previous times around here. I still haven't come here in perfect conditions yet. Even the track now is still damp going into some corners. But we're down to a uh, 52.3 now. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. I still think there's time to find. Um, my slicks are knackered. Um, we have got, can you see them there? We've got a new set to go on, but um, it looks like it's going to be wet tomorrow, so uh, probably won't be going on tomorrow. But uh, yeah, reasonably happy. Um, I feel I'm about half a second off the front boys, um, so it's a bit more time to make up. Yeah, I know some corners can go faster. I've made a few changes to the front forks. We've uh, dropped them through a bit to help me hold um, mid corner speed a bit better. But apart from that, it's all going well. Um, nothing dramatic to put, no offs. So, 
yeah, we'll go. It'd be nice if we gain some 51s before the end of the day. That is the plan. So we've got three temps to find. So hopefully we can find that in. I reckon we've got about two more sessions left. So I'll get back to you at the end of practice and tell you how we've got on. Alright guys, well that is the end of Friday here today at Ella, um, it's been alright, it's not been too bad, um, we got down, we're stuck on a 52.3 and uh, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say I'm going to blame it on tyres, um, they've been the same set on since round one at Leeds, um, so I feel they've come to the end of their life. Um, we're fourth at the moment, um, so hopefully go get the times down tomorrow. Um, so stick some new rubber on, hopefully take a bit of time off. I'd like to get in the 51s, would be nice. Um, so yeah, good night guys. I'll see you in the morning for Saturday. Gareth Hall here speaking to Jamie King who uh, knows this track here at Ella Park. So what's it been like out there? It must be good, uh, a little bit more well, just down the road from home. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, really good to be back um, here. It's been a long while since we raced here. It was about 10 years ago since Fab last come. So it's been good. Um, previous track days I've come here, it's been wet. So it's been nice to get some good dry time here today. You say that, but we've seen you go quite well in the wet. We saw back in Lidge, you're doing very strong in the wet yeah, indeed. Yeah, so good races at Wilton against the BSB boys, against Charlie and Rossi and Eddie. So yeah, yeah I do prefer the wet this season at the moment. Um, it's Looking like it might be a bit showery tomorrow, so hopefully in qualifying we can uh, be near the front of the grid. Absolutely so, and uh, of course it's been a, a pretty strong season for you. You've been fighting around that podium position, so how's the season going for your end? Um, it's been really hard work, because obviously with Rossi, Charlie and Eddie, um, they're extremely quick riders, so I try and class myself as the best rider who has to go back to work on Monday, really. <laughs> so yeah, it's not been too bad, obviously. It's good going out with them guys, because it ups my game, trying to have to keep up with them. And, and if, they, if them guys are not there, um, I tend to not go as quick. So it's good to have them guys pulling me along. Absolutely, of course, it's good to see the younger talent, younger generation coming through, and uh, but of course you don't want them passing you too much. But uh, yeah, but what's it like, of course, when you're racing in this category that does have a, a variety of ages? Of course, you've got, to, you've got to watch out, some maybe a little bit uh, less experienced. So what's it like out there on circuit? Um, obviously, with Charlie, he's obviously very experienced, even though Charlie, Eddie and Rossi are all still quite young still. Oh, Charlie, oh, Eddie and uh, Rossi are extremely young. But um, yeah, it's, you've got that vast variety of riders from people who do this from a bit of fun to, to them guys who are hoping to make a living out of it one day. So yeah, it's, I, I try and keep with them and then obviously I have the rest of my team who I uh, like help out and things like that. So yeah, it's just the vast experience in the paddock. It's great really. And goal for the end of the season, of course, we're over halfway through. So what, what are you thinking coming the last well, few races? Charlie's clearing up in the championship at the moment so um if we, i'll be obviously i won the championship last year um if if we can get top three but i may just have a good time and i come here just as much as i do for the social side as i do come for the race and just have a good laugh with my friends and that so yeah hey, top three in championship would be lovely get more some more podiums this is a big meeting for me because obviously it's my home track so i'd like to try and do well this weekend 
great to hear of course the fab racing community is strong as strong as ever and uh, yeah great to speak to you jamie good luck this weekend hopefully we'll see you on the podium all right guys uh it's saturday now um i didn't do any vlogging this morning and um, we've had our first two qualifying and uh it's gone extremely well first qualifying was damp and then halfway through it chucked it down so i managed to get a good lap in in the damp because i was on intermediates and uh second one chucked down rain so we got pole which is uh really good um well excellent really we're now probably about half an hour away from the first race um, I'm nervous, really nervous. I really want to win this, especially being in my home track at Ella after such a long period of not being here. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be happy with the podium, but we really, really want the win. Um, anything else is a bit of a waste of time, really. So it is literally win or bin. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I'll speak to you after the race, hopefully with good news. Well guys, um, sadly that was the last bit of vlogging I got to do at the weekend um, just for the reason that my beautiful wife wasn't there a lot on Sunday and with all the social media stuff I was really busy so that was the last bit of vlogging we got to do so um, we'll carry on where we left off which was going into the race um, on Saturday evening getting myself pumped um, the track was horrendous it was proper proper wet and it is everything i wanted and um, we were starting from pole position um i've been going really well in the wet this season it's just everything i wanted uh it felt like all the stars had come to alignment and uh it, we were going to go out and uh, have a really good result but um unfortunately the race didn't happen because um the race before us there was a a bit of an incident um with a rider coming off um, and they had to wait for an ambulance to come and because we were the last race of the day they decided no nope, we're not going to do it we'll leave it to first thing in the morning so you can imagine I was pretty gutted um, because I really wanted that wet race so we were going to have three races on Sunday um, with the first one being first thing in the morning it rained all night um, so the first race still was going to be damp and this is how it went of the season of course the uh, last year's pit bike 140 champion looks to the lights and they are away and it's a good start from jamie king and taylor lawrence they're also getting a good start but it's rossi bannum who got the inside line into turn one jason Pugh there dropping a leg and yeah it's rossi bannum who's taken the lead uh, into the first corner so uh, rossi bannum a good start there from him from fourth position uh, of course bsb rider over uh, at uh, in junior super sport class at bsb you can see will howarth there uh, with um, the metric g P50 machine leading the Moto team class still as well and right on the back of the front of these pit bikes. Fourth place uh, in the race overall. And leading, leading the Moto team as we see a lot of riders down there. That's uh, Simon Klaus who's down who's uh, leading the Moto team cl uh, class ch in the championship. He's down with a few other riders there so a big coming together between a lot of these riders and a, a rider who looks like he's just picked up a bit of a nasty injury there. Yeah it was a, uh, a collection between several of the riders on the exit of turn four. You can see that it's Simon Klaus, we've got another couple of riders down at the slingshot hairpin. Uh, Will so. Howarth down uh, as well, so that's both your uh, Moto Team front runners down out of this race. Uh, good, uh, good race from him at the moment in second, uh, and Jamie King, who's uh, quite local to here, in uh, in third place at the moment. Yeah, Jamie uh, lives in, living about 15 minutes. I've already said he's been here a couple of times, and uh, he was looking forward to uh, getting out there on circuit and uh, doing a good job. You see there. Uh, uh, change for position between Jamie King and Darren Anderson there so uh, Jamie now getting on it he's trying to close him Harrison behind we've got a rider going down and that is Reese Peacock and that allows Will Howarth now up into fourth position so Reese Peacock you see just sliding down at the uh, back end of the uh, circuit and uh, yeah unfortunately that's uh, out of fourth position there so, so even now uh, a couple of laps in we've got eight Cleanly, laps uh, and Jamie King still looking menacing on the back wheel of Harrison Crosby at the moment at the moment yeah Jamie King as he takes the inside line does he get up the inside as they go in towards turn two and turn three not quite Harrison closes the door but Jamie's going to hold that inside line and try and get a run down towards the turn four hairpin as they get to the uh, hairpin now it's caught out a lot of riders already but uh, Harrison doing a good job so far just a bit of defensive driving and uh, he's just holding off the charging Jamie King as, as you say just uh, 
Jamie's he's looking very strong. We know he picked up a double race win back at round two at Lid, and uh, he's very good in these greasy conditions, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, like like you say, he did really well back at Lid in the, uh, in the greasy conditions. Also had some good results uh, last time out at Wilton Mill, but he's equally as fast in the dry. Of course, it was the pole sitter uh, in this race as well. So yeah, Jamie King, uh, a regular front runner in this class, and uh, of course last year's champion. Uh, Moto team leader still Will Howarth there in fourth spot uh, in this race as well. So a brilliant recovery from him uh, after that crash he had earlier on. And a shout out as well to the number 21 of Marco Pandolfo, who's in fifth spot in this race. So a really good uh, running from him uh, in this one. I believe that's going to be his best result as Jamie King takes the lead ahead of Harrison Crosby now. So Jamie King into the lead of this race. Yep. At turn nine, enters into the penultimate corner. And Jamie King is going to round the final corner, taking the checkered flag. His third win on the season here. The local lad picking up the victory. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. Punches the air, and uh, you can see, <laughs> you can see already elated with that one. Started on the pole, had to fight back into the lead, and uh, yeah, Jamie King, very, very happy. Arms up, make sure you stay on the bike. Don't want to go down now, Jay. And uh, yeah, but uh, what a race there from, uh, from Jamie King. Yeah, brilliant race there from uh, Jamie King. He's, uh, of course, last year's champion, so uh, uh, very familiar with winning races uh, and a brilliant race from him there. He's uh, obviously taken a win already this season and uh, uh, really happy to be able to pick up a second one uh, with Charlie Nesbitt pretty much dominating the spoils so far. So that's Jamie King uh, as well now, who's uh, going to be uh, uh, climbing up in the standings uh, a little bit closer to Charlie Nesbitt now, now picking up 25 points. So brilliant result there from the number uh, 76 of Jamie King. Yeah, with no Charlie Nesbitt having uh, retired from that one, that means that the gap uh, has closed down to three points. Of course, this is race one of three. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, the first race of three for the PB140s and Moto teams. They've got plenty more action coming up later today. But Jamie King, take... Right, so there we go. We did it. Um... We won at Ella Park, which was one of my big goals at the start of the season. Um, honestly, I didn't think I was going to do it. When the race got cancelled Saturday night, I thought, nah, that, that was the chance gone. Um, but the track was still more towards the wet side than it was the dry side. We ran the intermediates. Um, a lot of people either went full wets or slicks because there were a lot of crashes on the first lap, as you saw. So, uh, yeah, type tyre choice was on point and uh, yeah I was absolutely delighted to get the win um, I used to go at Ella Park a lot when I was a kid then they stopped bikes going there so real to me it meant a lot to get a win there um, next up was race two and three I haven't bothered putting uh, race three in because the film crew um, filmed Eddie O'Shea coming through from the back because it was pretty much fully dry the last race and he just stormed through so I didn't get a lot of TV time in the last one. Um, race two, um, it was still on a little bit on the damp side. Once again, quite a few people came off. Eddie O'Shea came off, Taylor Lawrence came off. So uh, we, we got a nice, comfortable, comfortable third place, um, which I was happy with. We got the overall win at the end of the weekend, which meant a lot as well. So yeah, that, that is the vlog. Let's quickly just show you a few clips of race two and um, yeah. Cheers, guys. And away they go, and it's a good start there for your pole man, Jamie King, the 76. But here comes the 96, and that's Rossi Bannum up the inside. Now, does Rossi take the lead? He got a really good launch from fourth on the grid. But no, it's Jamie King from Rossi Bannum in the, the, uh, the lead of this one. Will Howe is being swamped in sixth position by a couple of the pit bikes behind. Yeah, a good start from uh, Jamie King. Not so much of a good start from Will Howarth, but uh, Charlie Nesbitt flying through the field on this first lap as well. We expected to see that, and he's right out on the other side of the circuit using uh, all of the track and more of his Charlie Nesbitt. We're used to seeing that, but not quite by that much. Uh, sets to be out the front and uh, uh, and trying to run away with it. Rossi Bannum is then uh, currently leading this race. Yeah, Rossi Bannum getting up past Jamie King, who's now dropped down to third place behind Taylor Lawrence as well. So Rossi Bannum, Taylor Lawrence from Jamie King, Charlie Nesbitt, who went purple now at 56 flat so expect to see uh, expect to see charlie in this battle and there we go already making it a uh, a four way fight for the uh, for the lead of this race and uh, the number 10 of taylor lawrence is up in a good position but jamie king race one's winner 
will uh, equally be picking up a uh, hopefully keeps picking up another decent result here in the 76 local rider has been here before to Ella Park but uh, he didn't want to put too much pressure on himself he said the reason why he comes here is as much for the racing it is for the social side he's a, a very big part of the fab racing community and uh, does a lot for us here but uh, out on circuit he uh, definitely likes himself the taste of the champagne at the top but at the moment lap of this race yeah, and uh, Rossi Bannon was telling us uh, earlier on this weekend that he really wants to beat the number 86 of him, and that's two riders down. That's Eddie O'Shea and Taylor Ron Lawrence that have gone down at the hairpin. So that's Eddie O'Shea who climbed his way up through the grid, unfortunately going down and taking Taylor Lawrence with down him. to so 11th position, but it is Charlie Nesbitt that takes the win here at the PB140 and Moto Team class. They're at second race of the weekend, ahead of Rossi Bannon and Jamie King in second and third. Darren Anderson managed to hold off the fight from Will Howarth in fourth and fifth position with Reese Peacock in sixth. Chris Wells in seventh ahead of Marco Bandolfo who's having a much better weekend here at uh, Ella Park in eighth position. Nathan Riggy in ninth and Jack Andrews rounding out your top ten. So that was a vlog of the, the Ella Park race meeting with Fab Racing. As for me personally it went really well getting a win, a third and a fourth and getting the overall win so yeah it's really what I wanted was to get a win at Ella so that was really good. Um, big thanks to all my sponsors who make all these um, brilliant memories happen. Uh, Parker Racing, DRC Levers, Acal Car Centre, um, yeah, all you guys, RC Coatings, Case of Tire Centre. Cheers, guys. Without all your help, you make things, things are a lot more difficult. So cheers, guys. And also a massive thank you to my wife who comes to or tries to come to every meeting she possibly can and helps with all these vlogs. Thank you guys and we'll see you hopefully at Rara in a few weeks time.